Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we will be testing the beta version of Iron Man Infinity War in the Cabinet of Legends. Uh, I always like Iron Man, he's the most, my most favorite character in the MCU. And he has been a disappointment since the day he came out. I do like his abilities, but he does just does not hit hard enough. And if when he does hit hard enough, it takes a lot of ramp up, and his instrument and attachments do fall off really, really fast. And it's excruciating that they fall off all at once instead of one plasma falling out at, at a time. That would be a much better buff, in my opinion. So let's talk about what exactly has changed. Hmm? So his plasma duration, as well as his sensor rate duration, has been increased by about 40%. So this makes Iron Man possible to play him without any synergies. So as far as you can, uh, you're able to parry an opponent. You will always be able to get the plasmas on. But in a scenario where a parry is not an option, you are still going to need a stealth spidey in most cases. So, the insert rate and plasma duration has been increased by 40%. And the other change is that upon heavy attack, he used to place an armor plate, which potency was something like 460 for his accelerate too. Now it's 700, so increased armor break potency right there. And on his special 2 as well, the armor break potency has gone up from 663 to 1400 per stack. Now the third change is that upon special 2, now he has a 50% armor, 50% chance per armor break on the opponent to place a stun. And if you remember, the special 2 has two armor breaks, so that's a 100% chance to stun the opponent. Now that doesn't translate to a lot of use. It might seem like that, but there's a guaranteed stun on the special two means that you are able to go in and do a heavy attack or a better pulsar attack to refresh the plasma duration. That in on itself is really helpful for this fight. Uh, if it was a fight where um, the parry duration or the sun duration was not an issue as in Labyrinth, that would be really helpful. Now, in this fight we have... You're at 3 minute mark and all my Logan is at 58% health right now. In fact, we finished this fight in 5 minutes. That's 1.5 million health in 5 minutes. That's about uh, 5,000 damage per second. So it's pretty decent for the 6 star rank 2. And we are not fighting uh, under 15 percentage for that power game. So it's pretty decent damage. It's not huge. I mean, how the map dictates is that since the... Uh, Duration is increased, the potency of the damage is a bit decreased, that's the math works. And KT1 has demonstrated that in his video as well. But I do think that his Iron Man is not uh, getting that extra oomph he gets, that extra attack from this converting plasmas with this heavy attack. I do think that's not working properly, or maybe they remove it. I don't think, I don't see why they should. To know that so it's probably a bug so at the end of the day where does that bring us if you like iron man he's much more playable right now before the buff so he can still work in fights where you can properly parry on the opponent and stun the opponent with special twos he can be played on his own but if there is a limber um, you will probably need Soul Spidey. And in this fight, you can see that 4 minutes, 50 seconds, then this guy is dead. So, 
So when all is said and done, the beta version of Iron Man, it's decent. It's not great. It's better. I mean, this is how he should have been released. The plasma duration was pretty low before. Mm -hmm. Now it's average, and you know, it's manageable. That's the word that I would use. So, in a fight where, um, no, he can stand on his own. That's what I'm saying. In a regular fight, he doesn't need synergies. But if there is a stun duration decrease level, or an opponent like that, he's gonna need stealth spiking. The damage for second has probably gone down because map. I'll not get into that right now. And I do believe the heavy conversion is not working properly. I do need to test that. I will be testing that later. I'll let you know in the comment section. So if you like rank Iron Man, probably hold on to the rank up for now. But the beta, if they they need to change anything. Let them change that. So yeah, he could use a little bit more tune up, I would say. He's doing 5,000 damage per second in a long fight that is averaged out on, what, finance? Hmm? But his problem is he doesn't hit really hard on his basics. His basics should be turned up, in my opinion. Um, the armor break potency could be increased much more on his heavy attacks. So in a regular fight, he still does some damage on his basics. Most of his damage comes from the plasma debuff, and he still need to shock the opponent, insure the opponent, and probably stun the opponent as well. That's three requirements already there, and they if they are going to release any more plasma enchantments, so that will also be a requirement. So there are three requirements for Iron Man to do any meaningful damage, and. He needs to throw a special 2 and a special 1 for one plasma. So that's 3 bars of power for one plasma. So, in my opinion, they should look at it. They should probably give him an increased uh, ability power rate. Like maybe Cyclops. Below 1 bar of power on offense, not on defense. We, nobody wants that. On offense, this Iron Man could gain. And energized buff, he would be much more serviceable in a short to mid length fights. So let's wait. Let's wait and see where this goes. So, yeah, a little bit disappointed, but it's not bad. I would say this is more of a correction than a buff. This is how he should have been released, in my opinion. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys want me to test something in the coming week, I am in the beta. I can only test champions I, I, I have right now. And I can only test with the catalyst that I have at the moment. So yeah, let me know what you think. Bye. And thank you for watching.